Do you like Collector Prius Rock Animal models? Does the Collector Deluxe range delight you? We've got the lowdown on the final set of new for 2021 Collector figures. Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the last of the new for 2021 Collector Prehistoric Animal Models. In 2020, Collector added an astonishing 18 new figures to their Collector Deluxe and Collector Popular lines. In 2021, Collector will add 11 new figures to their ranges, plus the mini dinosaurs and prehistoric animal model set. 2020 has been a very difficult year for model manufacturers and we'd like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Collector for working so hard to produce the new models that they've done. So, after the obligatory statement about subscribing to Everything Dinosaur, we'll jump straight in. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. The first of the new models we announced today is an updated and revised version of the early Jurassic theropod Dilophosaurus. This colourful figure is based on the very latest scientific review of Dilophosaurus fossil material. The idea that Dilophosaurus was a relatively weak-jawed scavenger has been replaced with a view that it may have been one of the largest terrestrial vertebrates roaming the western United States around 193 million years ago. A comprehensive review of the fossil material associated with Dilophosaurus weatherelli was published early this year by two scientists, Adam Marsh and Timothy Rowe, from the Jackson School of Geosciences at the University of Texas at Austin. Analysis of the jaw identified areas of attachment for powerful jaw muscles and that the skeleton was pneumatized. It had air pockets. These structures would have helped to both lighten and strengthen the skull. The researchers stated that whilst Dilophosaurus could catch small animals, the robust upper jaw and strong grasping hands suggest that it was equipped to tackle far larger prey. The collector model has been given a thicker lower jaw, strong looking arms and a very striking colour scheme. Teeth marks found in specimens of the early sauropodomorph Cerasaurus, which was contemporaneous with Dilophosaurus, provide support for the idea that this dinosaur was indeed a powerful predator. The famous kink in the upper jaw has been toned down in this collector interpretation, reflecting the evidence presented in the recent scientific paper that jawbone fossil material was distorted and there was no prominent kink in the anterior portion of the upper jaw. With the introduction of this new Dilophosaurus in 1 to 40 scale, the Age of Dinosaurs popular Dilophosaurus figure will now be retired. The new study suggests that it's the nasal and lacrimal bones that form the famous crests. What were once thought to be thin, bony and quite fragile head crests have pneumatized cores, which were covered with keratin or keratinized skin, making them much larger than previously thought. Collector have been keen to show enlarged crests on their new model. Their bright crimson colour suggests that the design team at Collector considered their main purpose was for display and visual communication, although they could also have had a role in thermoregulation, helping to keep this dinosaur cool. The new Collector Deluxe 1 to 40 scale Dilophosaurus measures a fraction under 18 and a half centimetres long, and that beautifully detailed head is held a little over seven centimetres high. Our congratulations to Collector for producing a new Dilophosaurus replica so quickly after the publication of the research. The second new model we announced today is a Collector Deluxe 1 to 20 scale replica of Didicarus, a giant armour plated club tailed herbivore from the Americas, distantly related to sloths and anteaters. Everything Dinosaur had received lots of emails asking whether Collector was going to add a replica of a prehistoric mammal to the popular prehistoric beast section. This Didicarus joins the likes of Andrew Sarkis, 
Dinotherium, and Meropus, as well as the contemporaneous Smilodon. Fossils of these slow-moving animals were first documented by the famous naturalist Charles Darwin during his long voyage on HMS Beagle. He discovered fragmentary remains, including isolated teeth and bones, plus tile-shaped pieces of the body armour. Darwin described this animal as large, with an osseous coat in compartments, very like that of an armadillo. Darwin was right. Armadillos are the closest living relatives to the great glyptodont lineage. Together they are grouped into the Singulata. However, it was the famous English anatomist Richard Owen who was tasked with scientifically describing these remains. In 1847, Owen assigned these fossils to the Glyptodon genus. However, an extensive review of known Glyptodont fossil material in 1874 established the genus Didicurus, and Pestletail came to be accepted within the scientific literature. Viewers will observe that the beautifully sculpted Collector Deluxe 1 to 20 scale Didicurus does not have long spikes on the end of its powerful tail. The design team reasoned that elongated spikes on the club would be in danger of snapping or becoming tangled with vegetation. The tail still looks formidable, enough to put off the most determined predator. Although most paleontologists think that the club was primarily used in combats between males, over mating rights and social status. The restricted movement of the head would limit the animal's ability to use the club to strike out at an attacker, especially if it were assailed from behind. This wonderful model will be available from Everything Dinosaur around the middle of 2021, and it measures 18 centimetres in length. The top of that fantastic armoured shell is 7.6 centimetres tall, and Reflecting the robust nature of these car-sized browsers, the Collector Deluxe Didicarus is also 7.6 centimetres wide. Didicarus, along with its fellow glyptodonts, can give the ankylosaurs a run for their money when it comes to being described as living tanks. The final new for 2021 prehistoric animal model the Collector will introduce is this stunning replica of the late Cretaceous ammonite Previtoceras. What a beautiful model it is, helping to demonstrate the huge diversity of shell shape and morphology associated with these cephalopods. Fans of the Collector range will know that this year, 2020, Collector added a number of invertebrate figures to their prehistoric animal model range. These figures represented iconic creatures which are extremely important in the fossil record. Amongst the models introduced, was a replica of Pleurocerus, a representation of an ammonite associated with lower Jurassic strata. Pleurocerus has a regularly coiled shell. This type of shell may be very familiar, especially to amateur fossil collectors. Ammonites with regular, tightly coiled shells are referred to as homomorph ammonites. But the subclass of the cephalopods to which the ammonites belong, the Ammonoidea, was extremely diverse, and numerous genera evolved with highly irregular shell shapes. Previtoceras is known from the late Cretaceous of Japan. It is a typical example of those ammonites with irregular shells, what are termed heteromorphic ammonites. Originating in the Jurassic, by the late Cretaceous, heteromorphic ammonites were extremely widespread and diverse with a myriad of different types of shell. So numerous were these ammonites that just like their coiled relatives, many genera have become important zonal fossils, assisting with the relative dating of strata. The collector model eloquently demonstrates that the final shell coil of Pravitoceras forms a distinctive S shape, and the body chamber itself is folded back to form a retroversal hook Previtoceras would have been able to swim with a minimal amount of drag due to its shell shape, 
whereas other, more irregularly called ammonites, with much more complicated shell configurations, would have been encumbered by their shells when attempting to swim. Collector have already introduced two small models of heteromorphic ammonites, replicas of Australoceras and Diplomoceras feature in the set of mini marine prehistoric animals. It is great to see Collector demonstrating the diversity of the Ammonoidea with the introduction of a Prevetoceras model. The model measures around 11 cm in length, from the rear of its shell to the tip of the tentacles, and it is approximately 8.6 cm tall. When this figure is in stock at Everything Dinosaur, in the middle of 2021, we will measure the shell diameter and put this information on the Prevetoceras product page. But for the time being, we can confirm that the model has a width of 7.1 centimetres. Our congratulations to Collector for introducing such a diverse and detailed range of prehistoric animal figures. This has been our fourth and final review of the new for 2021 Collector prehistoric animal models which will be available from Everything Dinosaur in the middle of next year. We've talked about the Collector Deluxe 1 to 40 scale Dilophosaurus. We've commented on the new Ammonite figure, Prabitoceras. And we've introduced the 1 to 20 scale Collector Deluxe, Dedicorus. Which brings us to this. Our question of the day. What other prehistoric mammal would you like Collector to make a model of? Have you set your heart on a hyenodon? Would a megaloceros be magic? Or how about a macrochenia? Would that make your day? Let us know your views in the comments section below and we'll pass your feedback to our chums, a collector. So there you have it. Our lowdown on the final three figures due out from collector in 2021. Over the last month or so, we've produced several other videos showcasing the other models which are due out from Collector next year. We've looked at the eight new prehistoric animal models plus the new set of mini dinosaurs and prehistoric animal models. We suggest you check out these videos on our YouTube channel and if you've not done so already, please subscribe. Also, each video features a different question of the day giving you the opportunity to suggest new prehistoric animal models to our chums at Collector. We look forward to hearing from you. There are a lot of dinosaur and prehistoric animal models coming out in the next few months. We suggest you check out Everything Dinosaur on social media so you can be kept up to date with all the new model introductions. In the meantime, we'll put up links to the Collector Deluxe and the Collector Prehistoric Life Ranges on our website in the video description down below. So you can take a look at these two exciting lines and perhaps pick up a model or two. We'll also put a link to our recent blog post talking about the three new collector figures we've discussed today. The Everything Dinosaur blog is crammed full of thousands of articles all about dinosaurs, fossils, prehistoric animals, paleontology and model collecting. We heartily recommend it to you. So, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this short video. And one more thing. Thank you.